Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Today's recipe is going to be simple but it's going to be very delicious. So let's do it. Alright guys, today we're going to make a very quick midweek meal. comes together very quickly and I'm just using stuff that I have on hand. It's not, you know, any kind of um, rocket science or anything like that. So I have some frozen meatballs. And what I did was I put them in a pan with a little bit of oil and I just dropped in a couple of cloves of garlic and, um, and a little piece of onion just to flavor it. So I have, you can see it release some oil. I'm gonna put some of that oil here in this pan. Maybe a little more than a tablespoon. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that now. Um, what I have, let me lift this back up. What I have here is a half of a medium onion. I'm gonna put that in here, start with the onion first. And I'm just going to slowly cook that here. And what I have here is four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna slowly cook my pasta here. Not my pasta, my onions. Just slowly, I wanna get some nice color on them. Let me show you the other ingredients. I have some thin uh, spaghetti. You can use any kind of pasta you like. And let me hold it in my hand so you can see like the amount that it is. This can easily feed two people with a salad on the side. That would be wonderful. I have here a pan since it's a small um, amount of pasta. And you want to season your pasta water very well. You want it to taste like ocean water. It's just sea salt. All right. If you have really nicely salted water, your pasta is going to turn out great. The next thing we're going to be using is gochujang. And this will give a nice smoky flavor, mildly sweet and a little bit with a little bit of a kick. I have here a little less than a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And a half of a cup of, if you have heavy cream, you can use that. I only have half and half, so that's what I'm going to be using. All right, let me get my onions going and I'll come on back. All right, so these have been going here for a couple of minutes. What I have here is, I would say about three tablespoons of my gochujang. And I'm gonna allow this to just um, permeate my onions, get it mixed in here real good. I also have a um, couple of tables, about a tablespoon and a half of butter. I'm gonna put that in now also. And we'll save our garlic for a little later. My water for my pasta is almost ready. I'm gonna get that in and cook it um, per package specifications. I am probably going to cook it like one minute less than they say because it'll finish cooking in this sauce, okay? Going in now with my garlic. And my, my heat is still on low because what I'm trying to do is... Um, what I'm trying to do is get my sauce together so it'll be nice and ready as soon as my pasta is done cooking. So we can just transfer right from the pot into, from that pot into this one. Then I add a little bit of black pepper. If you have white pepper, you can use that instead. Just a pinch, maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Alrighty. All right guys, so my pasta is cooked here and I just put my heat back up to medium and I'm just gonna take my pasta straight out of this pot and into this one. And if some water goes in, no big deal. We want some in there anyway, it'll help to create a nice sauce. Fish all of your noodles out. I think I got them all, almost, okay. Don't toss that yet because you're gonna need a little bit of it. And we're just going, oh, look at that color, how lovely. 
smells delicious too. I actually meant to put in my cream before and I forgot. So, no biggie, we'll just add some now. I probably won't use all of it, but um, I'll put it in now. So I'm going to say that's about a quarter of a cup. So when you make it, remember to put your cream in first. That's what I wanted to do, but oh well, I guess I got too excited. And like I said, I, I, I didn't cook my pasta all the way because I wanted um, I wanted to finish cooking here. Let's add a little more. It soaked it right. Okay, we'll use all of it. So half cup. All right, let me give this a couple of minutes. Let this get absorbed into my pasta. And then I'm going to add my noodles. You want to taste for salt right now. I didn't salt my sauce yet because I know that I salted my pasta really well. All right, now I'm going to go in with my parmesan. And also our meatballs that we did earlier and I'm just gonna toss this here with my tongs you can let it go a little bit more if you wanted to just to um, let it thicken up a little more because that cheese will thicken it up. And that's another reason I didn't want to salt also because my Parmesan is going to add some salt. So I think this is pretty good. Look at how simple this was and how quickly it came together. Guys, I just wanted to plate it up so you can see what it looks like. Look at it, how it grabbed onto all of that delicious sauce. Give this thing a try, guys. It is delicious. I snuck a little bite. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen. I sincerely appreciate you, and I hope you come back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye!